All right, folks. Today, as promised, we are going to talk about the calculations of pH and something called pOH. Now, before we do that, I want to give you a quick lesson on logarithms. You may have had this lesson before in your ninth or 10th grade math class and probably forgot about it. It's pretty simple. Let me go through a quick exercise with you before we go through the definitions of pH and pOH and work some example problems. Now, um, I think you will agree that the number 1, if I want to write that as a power of 10, that would equal 10 to the 0 power. Now, the log um, of that number is simply the power of 10 that equals that number. So in this case, the log would be 0. It's simply that number right there. Now, the negative of that log is also 0. We're not going to have a negative or a positive 0. And you'll see why I'm asking you to find the negative log here um, in just a few minutes. Let's do another one. How about point 0.1? Point 0.1. Let's see, isn't that 10 to the negative first? So the log of that number is simply negative 1. The negative of that log would be 1. Got it? All right. Well, the next one, 0 0.01. That is equal to 10 to the negative second. So the log of 0 0.01 is simply negative 2. The negative of that log is 2. 0 0.001, that's 10 to the negative third. So the log of that number is negative 3. And the negative of that log is 3. How about this one? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. So that's 10 to the negative 7. So the log of that number is simply negative 7. The negative log of that number would be 7. And this one here, we're going to count over 3, 6, no, 12, 13 places. So that equals 10 to the negative 13. The log of that number is negative 13. So the negative of that log is 13. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. What if I had a number that maybe wasn't quite so pretty? Let's try something like this. Let's say I had 0 0.013. How would I find the log of that number? What is that power of 10 that that number equals? Well, back in my day, we had something called log tables. And we would use those log tables to help us find uh, that value. But for right now, all you need to use is your calculator. You press the log button of point zero, or a decimal point, 0, 1, 3, and then enter, and it says the log of that is equal to negative 1.9. So the negative log of that would be 1.9. And you can do that for any number. That means if I put 10 to the negative 1.9, I should get that answer there. So you can check that 10 caret key negative 1.9, and we get 1.013, uh, just as we would expect. Alrighty, so just a quick, brief lesson on logs. Now the definitions. pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion or hydronium ion concentration. So if you remember, we found hydrogen ion concentrations in the previous problems, didn't we? If we take the negative log of that number, we will have something called the pH. pOH is similar. It's the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So once again, in the previous problems, didn't we find hydroxide ion concentrations? If we take the negative log of that number, we end up getting something called the pOH. So let's try a few folks. Well, first of all, Let's mention this. The pH of pure water 
you should know is 7. Why is that true? Well, what's the hydronium ion concentration in pure water? If you recall from a couple of videos ago, it's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th moles per liter. So the log of this number is negative 7, and if we take the negative of that log, we get 7. The pOH of pure water is also 7. Why? Well, as you recall, in pure water, the hydroxide concentration is equal to the hydronium ion concentration, which is 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. If we take the log of this number, we get negative 7. The negative of that log gives us 7. What happens when I add the pH and the pOH of pure water? Well, that's pretty easy. We get 7 for the pH and 7 for the pOH, and that equals 14, doesn't it? Well, it turns out for any water solution, the sum of pH and pOH will always be equal to 14. So, if my pH is equal to 8, let's say, my pOH would be equal to 6, and so on. Okay? All right. Now, um, just taking a look at this uh, graphic here, uh, we know that neutral is a pH of 7 and a pOH of 7. So pH of 7, pOH of 7. Now, it says when I go to the left, it becomes more acidic. That should make sense, because notice the hydrogen ion concentration increases when I go to the left. I go from 10 to the negative 7th, 10 to the negative 6, negative 5th, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and then finally 1. So when I go to the left, the hydrogen ion concentration increases, and the hydroxide ion concentration decreases, doesn't it? Since I have more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions when I go to the left, it becomes more acidic. Now, this is profound. Please notice that when the pH gets lower, when the pH gets lower, it becomes more acidic. When the pH gets higher, notice that my hydrogen ion concentration is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, all the way to 10 to the negative 14. So when I go to the right, the hydrogen ion concentration gets smaller, and my hydroxide ion concentration gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So when I have pHs bigger than 7, it's basic. And the bigger they get, it becomes more and more basic. All right. Well, let's take a look at example number 5. Let's see if we can practice some of these things. Let's find the pH and the pOH of the following solutions. And then we're going to figure out if they're acidic or basic. Okay? So in letter A, the hydrogen ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2. So the pH would be the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2nd. Now you guys can use your calculator for that if you want. You can press the negative button and then log 1 second EE to the negative second and then enter. You will find that that equals 2. What is the pOH of this solution? Well, remember, pH plus pOH always equals 14. So, if the pH is 2, the pOH must be 12. Now, is this solution acidic or basic? Well, let's take a look at our graphic up above. The pH of 2 is a pOH of 12, and it looks like this is acidic. All right, so this shows it is an acidic solution. Anything uh, with a pH less than 7, kiddos, is acidic. All right, let's do letter B. Can you do this one pretty quickly? Try it on your own. Find the pH, and then once you have the pH, find the pOH. I'll give you a minute to do it. Come back, see how you did. All right, welcome back. The pH of this solution is going to be the negative log 
of 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6. So let's press on our calculators negative and then the log button. 3 second EE negative 6 enter. And I get 5.5 as my pH. Now the pOH is going to be 14 minus 5.5, won't it? Because the sum of the two will always have to equal 14. And so that equals 8.5. So since the pH is lower than 7, the solution is also acidic. All right, try letters C, D, and E, and go ahead and do F. Try the rest of these kiddos. See how you do, and then come back and check your answers with me. All right, for letter C, the pH will be the negative log of 0 0.0055. So we're going to go negative log 0 0.0055, enter, and I get 2.3. The pOH would be 14 minus 2.3, and so we end up with 11.7. This is also acidic. The pH is less than 7. Okay, the next one. Find the pH of this. That would be the negative log of 0 0.000084. Let's see what that is. Negative log 0 0.000084. Enter. That turns out to be 4.1, so the pOH, whoops, pOH would be 14 minus 4.1, and so we end up with 9.9 um, .9 for the pOH. Once again, the pH is less than 7, so we have another solution that is acidic. Alrighty, what if we start with the hydroxide ion concentration? How are we going to do that? Well, this time, let's find the pOH first. Isn't that equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration, which is 6.5 times 10 to the negative fourth? So negative log, 6.5, second EE to the negative fourth. Looks like my pOH is going to be 3.2. Hmm, what's my pH going to be? Well, remember, the sum of pH and pOH has to equal 14, so 14 minus 3.2 is going to give me 10.8. Now this one, the pH is greater than 7, so we would say this solution is basic. And let's do letter F. Once again, I'm giving you the hydroxide concentration, so let's find the pOH first. That will be the negative log of 0 0.000033. So negative log on our calculator, 0 0.000033, enter, and I get 4.5. So the pH would be 14 minus 4.5, which is... 9.5. Now, since the pH is greater than 7 again, this would be another solution that is basic. So pH and pOH calculations should be pretty easy for you. They should be busy work. And then determining if they're acidic or basic should also be pretty straightforward. Remember, as the pH gets lower, it becomes more acidic. Uh, lower than 7 would be acidic. If it gets higher than 7, then it's considered to be basic. And if the pH is 7, then it's going to be neutral. Okay? All right. The next video, we're going to do more practice calculations. So you can come back for the second video on pH and pOH calculations, and hopefully that will straighten you out if you're having some problems. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.